There's another area in which I, I, I feel like we're headed in the wrong direction. I want to get serious for a minute, if I could, because I've been hearing a lot of talk lately, and I don't know if this is more prevalent in uh, L.A. than other places, but I feel like it probably is, but there's a small but still sizable group of people who are choosing not to vaccinate their children. Here in L.A., there are schools in which 20% of the students aren't vaccinated because uh, parents here are more scared of gluten than they are of smallpox. <laughs> And as a result, we now have measles again. We've got measles. And I want to say something about it. I know if you're one of these anti-vaccine people, you probably aren't going to take medical advice from a talk show host, and I don't expect you to. I wouldn't either. But I would expect you to take medical advice from almost every doctor in the world. <laughs> See, the thing about doctors is they didn't learn about the human body from their friend's Facebook page. They went to medical school where they studied all sorts of amazing things like how to magically prevent children from contracting horrible diseases by giving them a uh, little shot. You know those little shots of Botox? Which is botulism, by the way. <laughs> you get in your face to make your head look smooth and your eyes look crazy? <laughs> a little shot like that and poof, polio is gone. But <laughs> some people do not buy into that because they did a Google search and Jenny McCarthy popped up and she had clothes on <laughs> So they listened to what she had to say and decided not to vaccinate their kids. Now, and by the way, I want to say, this would all be okay if your kids were the only ones affected. It, they're your kids, but they're not because unvaccinated kids put all children in danger, especially babies who are too young to get the vaccination shot. But of course, that's according to doctors. So, you know, <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. Now, some people are saying kids who aren't vaccinated shouldn't be allowed to go to school or daycare or uh, go to public places, but I don't... Here's how I think it should go. If you are one of those people who knows more than doctors, that's fine, no vaccinations, but you're not allowed to go to the doctor anymore. Okay? <laughs> Why would you even want to go to a doctor who knows less than you do? So, if you fall and you cut your head open, you will not be admitted to the emergency room. <laughs> Stay at home, find that sewing kit you stole from the Marriott, <laughs> and stitch it up yourself, Doc. And the doctor will see you never. Oh, by the way, you should also let your kids smoke. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? The only people who say not to are doctors, and they don't know. <laughs> so I feel like this is starting to snowball. Um, so we invited some real doctors to address this. Again, these are... These are not actors. These are actual medical professionals. Every one of them is a real doctor. So hear them out and then decide for yourself. I am a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. And I believe in vaccinations. And I believe in vaccinations. If you don't vaccinate your kids, it can endanger their lives. The potential downsides of vaccinations are almost non-existent. The cumulative scientific and medical communities are in absolute full agreement that there is basically no reason not to vaccinate your kids. No reason. Which is why I cannot believe we have to make this PSA. <laughs> I thought we settled this in the 50s. Hey, remember that time you got polio? No, you don't, because your parents got you vaccinated. I did four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, and three years of pediatric residency. I had to go to school for eight years. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about. But you people still won't listen. Now I have to use my only day off to talk to you idiots about vaccines? I want to finish watching Breaking Bad. I'm only halfway through the second season. But instead, I've got to come here. Because you listened to some moron who read a forwarded email. Perfect. All these people had to set up cameras, lights, sound equipment, so that I could tell you to do something we've been doing for a century. Look at all these people. This is stupid. Get your kids vaccinated. Get your kids vaccinated. Get your kids vaccinated. Get your kids vaccinated or lose my number. Get your kids vaccinated, or these doctors may never find out that Walt dies at the end of Breaking Bad. Are you kidding me, dude? Paid for by professionals who know what the hell they're talking about. Thank you, doctors. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if not, do nothing at all.